So when you started this show and you created it, did you have an idea of how you were going to end it? And did that stay congruent to what we're going to be ending with now? I really wish I could say yes, and I was really smart and looked ahead and was a genius, but I had no idea how it would end. It wasn't really until this hiatus that I woke up one morning with an idea that sort of merged a bunch of different pitches, and I was like, I know how it ends. Oh my God, I have to write that right now. So that ultimately led to us making this the last season. And so when that happened, did you call Viola and kind of be like, is this okay with you and get her go-ahead? I more um, wait till I see her in person because I like to just like hit her with them when she does not expect it um, but her opinion really mattered to me sometimes I don't like rush to tell her because I'm scared she won't like it and then I'll know it's not right but this one gave her a big smile on her face in like a sly way you know sometimes she smiles at the darkest things in the world <laughs> um, so uh, but I knew just in my gut it was the right decision well so a big fan question is are we going to see Laurel again at all, whether it's like a peak or just a hello? I mean, are we going to see her face again? I won't say whether you will see her because I don't want to give that away. But in this upcoming episode that airs Thursday, you'll get an, a big answer about Laurel. Okay. And, I mean, this show has had so many ethical dilemmas. How do you continue to create it in a way that the characters are still going to be semi-likable to your audience? I never really worry if the characters are going to be likable. I think, you know, as a writer, you try to put yourself in their shoes. I like them all. Um, I think they've put in, been put in horrendous circumstances and also have made terrible decisions to get there. Uh, but I always just try to find the human real reaction to it so I don't think any of them are sociopaths um, and what's so great is I have these actors who really can ground the most insane preposterous events in real grounded emotion so it's always just finding the emotional truth and I know that you've said it is going to end in an inevitable and fateful way I mean it, can we assume that means death or prison um, yes I think you can assume death prison escapes um, every character is gonna have a different ending, some that they choose, some that they don't. And lastly, there's been so many epic shows that have ended and it's the final episode and people get really pissed off. They're like, are you kidding me? <clears throat> Dexter. Um, I mean, is that a worry for you at all? Or did you kind of take all those things into consideration to make sure you didn't do that? I think I'll get very worried when it's finally airing, but as we haven't written it yet, I'm just still in like, oh, this is fun, it's not real. Um, of course you want people to like it, but I will say sometimes the best finale is people like many years later. I don't know if they like them in the moment. So, um, you know, the best things, sometimes you have to sit on them, you have to think on them, and that's, I really just want to leave the audience with something to think about, as well as hopefully they'll enjoy it. Fantastic. Thank you so much.